Inkata Freedom Party leader Vilengosi Nishabisa is on the campaign trail in Guamashu, north of Durban. Now, the IFP is mobilizing support ahead of its manifesto launch at the Moses Mapita Stadium next Sunday. SABC News reporter Vusi Kumalo is keeping an eye on that story for us. Let's take you to him now. Vusi, thank you so much uh, for your time. So we're starting to see more political parties uh, tying the knots and bolts to their manifestos to get supporters. Take us through what's happening where you are now. Yes, indeed, um, Olisi, quite a number of political parties are traveling uh, the length and breadth of the country in attempts uh, to woo uh, supporters uh, because come the 29th of May, that's the election date that has been proclaimed by the state's president, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Of course, the IFP in Guazul Natal is also um, traveling all corners of the, of the province of KwaZulu Natal, and also yesterday we saw them in a dandy um, um, cool, I mean um, um, Zumbe, that's the southern part of KwaZulu Natal, and today they are also I mean, campaigning here in Kwamashu, which also used to be one of the strongholds of the IFP, and also there is a nearby hostel uh, which is also one of the strong stronghold of the IFP here, especially in the in the Etewini uh, region. With me is the Mkulego Lengwa, who is the spokes national spokesperson uh, for the party, who's going to take us through about the plans they do have today. Uh, we understand that, uh, Mr. Lengwa, you have the president of the party, uh, Mr. Velinkos in Klabi, so who's going to address the supporters of the IFP. What are some of the uh, priorities uh, that he will perhaps, I mean, um, try to focus on as we are building up to the manifesto on Saturday on the 10th? Good morning to you and the viewers in the same studio. Well, importantly, we are activating and mobilizing for the manifesto launch on the 10th of March in Deben at the Moses Mapita uh, Stadium. We are going to be presenting a credible and viable alternative um, in terms of the solutions intervention that the IFP is going to make. Also, we are doing these visits to structures and communities uh, of the IFP <clears throat> to give assurance that we are election ready um, as the party, it's all systems go. It is also to assess um, amongst others whether the branches are ready for elections because they are uh, the ones who are going to be responsible for the local uh, campaign. Branch inauguration continues um, as we speak uh, now um, across the country. Um, we are of course also preparing to, as a party, align ourselves with the IEC timelines uh, that have been issued this evening. Uh, the National List Committee will be meeting to prioritize prioritize uh, the names of candidates as received uh, from the structure. So nominations have been going on since uh, the end of January. Um, on Friday, those names were submitted uh, to the Election Management Committee or the DMC uh, to, for handover now to the List Committee. So all in all, from whatever vantage point you look at it in terms of mobilization for the manifesto launch on the 10th, preparing our structures for the 29th of May and the campaign and ensuring that we are IEC compliant uh, because I can also confirm that we have paid our deposit in full to contest uh, national in all the provinces uh, to the IEC. Uh, so whatever budget points you look at it, the IFP um, is election ready because we, we are very clear about what it is that we want for South Africa and we are very clear about what needs uh, to be done. So the president of the IFP is coming here today and will be proceeding to Phoenix in the afternoon. Today he will be also joined by the IFP chairperson in Guazlu Natal, who is the premier candidate for this province, who will be leaving from here to Otongat. And in the afternoon, the IFP deputy president will be uh, at Umkababa. So we are literally painting the province uh, white uh, in terms of the IFP uh, t-shirts. We are painting it IFP because we want to make sure uh, that come the 10th of May, uh, we fill up the Mapita Stadium and we mobilize all the structures uh, for the 10, for the 29th uh, of March. Uh, are you still? May, yes. Uh, are you confident uh, that the stadium, which has got a capacity of uh, just over 65,000, will be filled up uh, come the 
come the tenth. Nan, some pinchana corner gloomy, but at a practical and realistic level, we are confident about the plans that we have uh, as a party. We are making a clarion call to the structures that in this final week uh, we make a push uh, to make sure that we meet that objective. We do know that there are murmurs in certain corners of some who want to uh, to run parallel programs, who want to um, divert the attention away. There's a heightened sense of Uktata uh, Zela that we are picking up from uh, our opponents. But what we are confident about um, as the IFP is that our plans are in place. What we are making a clarion call for as the IFP is to say to our members, let us do what it is that we are coming to do at the manifesto. Mm. So let's not go to the beach. Let us not find ourselves wandering the streets uh, of Durban. Let us go to the manifesto launch, get the message so we can disseminate it uh, to, to, to the people. So it's an important political uh, activity. All these other things that our opponents are trying to do that we are aware of now and certain meetings that are taking place that we are aware of, um, we, are, we are saying to them that borders on a people one who are anti-democracy to it borders on people who are wanting to cause disruptions to the electoral process but it's a confirmation of people who can feel the full presence uh, of the IFP as we traverse the length and breadth uh, of the country campaigning and our message landing and resonating uh, with people so we are confident about the uh, manifesto that we will be presenting uh, on the 10th uh, of March at the Moses Mapeda Stadium and we are confident about our onward march uh, to the 29th of May. Yes, of course, this will be the first elections and also the first manifesto without the party leader, IFP uh, leader, uh, Nkosi Mangosutu Ptelezi, who demised the last year. How have you found the journey without him so far? The one thing that distinguished Tumtwana amongst many was that he was a good leader in terms of management. So he managed a leadership transition that has been smooth without problems and he prepared the party uh, for this reality. And it's something we'd speak about that uh, he would not be with us uh, for eternity. And so the smooth leadership transition has enabled the new leadership, one, to be able to take forward uh, his life's commitment of uh, seven leadership and work for the people, taking forward the mission and vision uh, of the IFP. We are borrowing from his experiences. Uh, we are borrowing from his lessons and teachings. So whilst we feel his physical uh, absence, we do feel um, his leadership presence uh, amongst us. And we want to thank Prince Mangosu Tupteles for ensuring the future sustainability of the IFP through a smooth leadership uh, transition. Babu Velenko Sini is firmly at the helm of the party and leading it uh, in a manner that is inspiring IFP confidence, public confidence, and that is why you are seeing us continuously winning by elections because uh, we, 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 we are committed to ensuring that the IFP wins. I mean, here in this province of Kwazulu Natal, the IFP has taken away 12 wards uh, from the IFP since the last uh, local government elections of 2021. We have defended uh, uh, fiercely contested by elections um, and that is testament to a leadership collective uh, that knows what it is that it's doing. So that's the commitment and assurance uh, that we want to give them because we know that the country loved uh, Prince Mangosu Tuktelis and is expecting us to do justice to his life's legacy and that remains one of our priorities and certainly the IFP is moving forward in a manner uh, that we believe is consistent with the democratic and constitutional uh, expectations uh, that the country has. Yeah, but, yeah, as I'm asking oh, Babu Tembe, our camera person, uh, Usbu Tembe, just to show uh, the background, uh, perhaps uh, while we are still talking, Ngiaguzia Kuluma, Kepa Ba, Paba, and Foga Mashasha. No, the people are on their way. Um, of course, once you must remember, uh, it's a Sunday um, and they were continuously arriving. The leadership is here, transport team um, is going to collect them. So, as far as we are concerned, yes, there is a delayed start, but uh, we do believe that uh, there's no problems. And so far, in all the activities that we've had and um, the turnouts have been good and um, so we we are confident um, as a party and we do not believe that there's, a, there's, there's any problem Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. Uh, that's uh, the national uh, spokesperson of the IFP, uh, Mr. Mkulego Lengwa, as you are seeing in your shots. Uh, 
a small dam is showing just a small group of supporters of the IFP clad in uh, their traditional regalia, the white as well as a, a bit of, of red and black. These are the supporters who are, I'm told that uh, there are quite a number of supporters who are on their way. That's according uh, to Llengwa. Uh, we also uh, saw them uh, just uh, crisscrossing uh, the township of Guamash in hostel area going on about trying to campaign and also trying to woo more, more supporters uh, to come to this venue here at uh, Guam Sports Field here in Guamash.